Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has announced the suspension of all schools for 14 days amid concerns about the coronavirus. The decision is to be reviewed in 10 days. The University of the West Indies, the University of Technology Jamaica, and the Caribbean Maritime University have also been closed. And speaking at the Gleaners Editors Forum this afternoon, health officials said there will be more restrictions once community spread of the virus begins. Our estimation is that once we start having local spread, that it will take us about eight weeks to get to the peak, the peak week. The health ministry is expecting 1.7 million people to be infected with the coronavirus and will halt testing once spread becomes rapid. And Jamaica's consulate general in New York, which serves the largest diaspora community, will be closed from March 16 to 20 in the first instance. Jamaica's consular departments in Washington, D.C. and London in the United Kingdom will also be closed over the period. Meanwhile, in Guyana, the first patient with the virus died last night. Former Senator Pernell Charles Jr. has been sworn in as the new member of parliament for Clarendon Southeastern. Charles Jr. replaces Ruddy Spencer, who has resigned and is now the deputy chairman of the Industrial Disputes Tribunal. In sports, racing has been cancelled at Caymanus Park until further notice. The Jamaica Racing Commission made the decision as a precaution amid the coronavirus. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $135.54. The British pound sterling for $171.33 and the Canadian dollar for $97.49. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies across eastern parishes with mainly sunny conditions elsewhere. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.